Hi guys. So in this episode of Use Case, we are shifting gears and talking about search. And um, so a little bit about the use case. There's a lot of information out there on the internet, a lot of content to consume, and um, it can be difficult to make sense and get through the volume of that content. Um, and so today we have co-founder of Plex, Hassan Musabayev, and uh, Plex is an AI powered search tool that summarizes large volumes of text into digestible shorter form summaries. Essentially, Hassan and his team are automating Wikipedia from how I see it. Um, and honestly, it's, I think the technology is mind blowing. Um, so Hassan, thank you for being here today. And can you just show us a little bit um, as to how Plex works? Yes. Uh, hello, Karina. I am really glad to be here with you. Uh, my name is Hassan Musabayev. As you already introduced, I'm CTO of the Plex.page project. And uh, I will show you the demo right now. To access cart and search feature, a person must have an account. If you already have, just go to login. If you not, if not, just go to the register page. Then you just need to press the dashboard. We can just skip this part about other feet just straight to custom search. And in here, on the left part is a list of the custom search that you've made already. And just pressing the done button will forward to you to the done one. Now let's do the custom feature. A little bit about Nike. Here you you must input the uh, in the search word that you are searching. Section one you input, and in the sections you input what you want to know about it. For example, I want to know the starting point of the Nike. You, I just input the starting point. For section seven, I want to know the net worth of Nike. And after that, I just sub press the submit button. And I have, and here we have a confirmation form. The search input, the sections, and if yes, you just press yes. Loading, just wait five seconds for wait to confirm it and that's all now we have the nike search custom search in pending and here it is after it's done it will automatically uh, change the start from pending to done and after done just have to press the done button and it will forward you to the main page With your new information, with your custom thing. Of course, the general latest info is the mandatory that will always be there. Here is the section that I've chosen. Pretty cool, right? You input your query, in our case it will be 2020 California Proposition 25. So our query for today and the sections. So first section will be what is Proposition 25. Second section will be did it pass. And the short question will be, why did it fail? Now, uh, you can just press these buttons and go further up to 10 sections, but in our case, three sections are enough. So let's submit it. 
and here is a verification panel you can uh, here is a search query our search query sections that we are using let's proceed I will just keep all to the moment when it's done all right here it is now now it is done let's proceed And here it is. First is general and latest info section. It is a default section, and every query will have it. Here is just the default, the general section, and below we can find the section that we inputted. What is proposition 25? Uh, did it pass? Apparently, it was rejected. And uh, the reason it was failed, why did it fail? Done. Okay, thank you for the demo. Um, just a few questions. Number one is, if I want to sign up to use Plex, where do I go? Oh, you just go to the uh, plex.page slash sign up. There you can find the basic like everyone knows the sign up form you just input the username email and password uh, plus sign up and that's all cool and uh, how much does it cost uh, for general use case if you are searching only through the database it's completely free but if you want to go further like the custom search we uh, shown right uh, the before you can see the pricing page you know on our website Okay, sounds good. Nice. Thank you very much, Hassan. Best of luck with Plex. Thank you too, Karim. Thank you very much. Do you, do you speak Russian, by the way? Yes, I do. Можно иногда по-русски. Okay, хорошо.